The first question I will address is about egregores. The question is how is an egregore formed? Is it made by human effort or is it constructed by higher cosmic powers? And the answer is it is mainly through effort from below rather than from above. The thing about an egregore is that it is in essence a uh, method of structuring the world where it originates in. So uh, not all egregores are actually, you could say, uh, meant to manifest themselves in the physical world, in the physical universe. Many egregores, they start on higher levels and they only work on higher levels. They only work on your spirit, for instance or the collective consciousness and this is their field where they are active in not so much in the individual daily material lives but the egregores which are best known they are the egregores which are indeed functioning on our own material level so according to the divine laws it is not allowed for higher powers to use their supremacy to dictate matters for the lower levels. So if an angel or a deity or a spiritual master would um, have a desire to change our world and how our physical world is, uh, is structured, what shape the buildings are, what political system we use, um, then they have to actually work together with people who are native to that plane who are focused uh, in uh, that level of existence. So ultimately these higher cosmic powers are unable to manifest the egregore downward to the levels where we exist. And because of that it is not very useful for them to try to uh, construct an egregore because they are ultimately powerless and they tend to be more reactive, responding to invitations to join an egregore. What most egregores have in common is that they are multi-layer structures. So they don't just have beings from one layer of consciousness. Not every being in the, in the egregore is just a material being of flesh and blood. Um, often they will have um, like at least nature spirits or astral spirits or other higher forms involved in it. And this is also what gives an egregore its stability, its structure. Because if it is just um, people on a material level, then very quickly the egregore which lose, which would lose its coherence because of the changes which are happening much more rapidly on the lower planes of existence than the higher planes of existence. So it is actually through the membership of the egregore of the higher cosmic powers that an egregore is able to function for centuries or even millennia. So what we see in the formation of egregores is that um, ultimately these higher powers have to respond to the yeah, initiatives of the of beings in lower realities but these beings in the lower realities can be inspired by the higher powers to act in such a way so for instance uh, a god or a goddess would not be able to create an egregore just by herself but she might inspire people to follow a certain path to create a certain tradition and thereby start the formation of an egregore from their material level and then she can join uh, with them, with the structure. So what we see is that if an egregore is very, uh, or actually the foundation of the egregore is very unstable or very weak, then generally the higher powers won't bother investing in it or becoming a part of it. So if it is generally just one person who's interested in something and or the people who are involved are of a very low uh, level of power and consciousness and awareness 
um, or they're not very consistent about it. Like one year they're doing one thing, then two years later they're following another tradition, another path. Then it's not very worthwhile for a higher power to get involved in that. Um, so what you see in general is that people have to be involved um, with a small uh, group for usually yeah, a few dozen years for an ego core really to be formed. So it's not formed very easily. Uh, there are many, you could say, proto egregores little groups of people who are working on themselves, working on different paths, different traditions, developing different philosophies. Uh, but generally these philosophies change every f five, six years. So that's hardly enough time to create enough energetic mass and stability to be noticed. Uh, also the difference in, you could say, time scales of changes. Uh, that um, if, for instance, a group exists here for one moment and then is gone the next, uh, then for an egregore it is hardly worthwhile, uh, or for higher power it is hardly worthwhile to try to create an egregore. Uh, because if there won't be anybody around using it anymore. Um, so what you find is that generally egregores are based on traditions which yeah, last dozens of years uh, or even hundreds of years of our time. Um, as to whether egregores are formed by human effort, um, first of all many egregores are not human in nature. Uh, the egregores come here and people decide to work with them, to join with them, but the egregores are actually alien in origin. So uh, for instance if you look at the impulse of the uh, Western uh, world, the Western Europeans to start to colonize the rest of the world, to colonize the Americas, Asia, Africa, uh, the Middle East. Um, this is not an idea which just originated from uh, some human minds. This was actually an alien idea of um, uh, creating a worldwide uh, yeah, network and uh, governing all the interaction between all the different elements of the network. Um, so it's a very alien concept which humans picked up on. And um, yeah, of course, first the Spanish started to implement that and then later other nations became involved in the same process of colonization. And now finally the last bastion, you could say, of that uh, Egregore is in the, uh, in the US. But ultimately, even though there are humans which are part of the Egregore, they're not so much the founders of the Egregore, but they can become the new foundation of the Egregore. They can be the place where the Egregore is manifesting itself, where the Egregore is actually doing its transformational work by creating a different world order people's lives will be different, they will have different experiences during their incarnations and that will ultimately also shape their development on a spiritual level. So egregores are in a way um, created you could say by beings on, on the lower levels and often by these beings also ascending to the higher levels so they can uh, have a leader who has direct inspiration from these angels, from masters, um, from enlightened beings, from deities. And uh, by having this guidance, um, actually the bo your body of knowledge, which the people who are members of the Egregore on the lower levels, uh, will also increase. And as these people uh, die and stay committed to the egregore, they, in a way, layer by layer form a ladder between the highest and the lowest layers. But um, if you have like the whole range of the cosmos, some egregores start on higher levels, so they're not so accessible to incarnated beings. But also not all egregores go all the way to the top. Most egregores 
yeah, go kind of midway and start midway. So you could say there's a little bell curve with most echo cores being in the center and few going to extreme heights and few of them going to extreme depths.